sound noodly. I like I'm it. I'm just warming up, you know, Sounds getting ready. Fun. Somebody said we were going to shoot some videos today. I thought I might want to pick up a guitar for a little bit. <laughs> Well, it sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Sounds good. It sounds good. So what you been doing this morning? Oh, uh, just talking to people's and answering people's questions about guitars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed we got a uh, couple going out today. What do we got going out? We have got a McCarty 594 and a CE24, both PRSs. Yes. Yeah. Well. Both similar colors today, too. Imagine that. Well, it's a gimmick. <laughs> Not get, quite. What are they, black gold and black something gold else? Black gold and black gold. Really? Yeah. That's something. That's something <laughs> yeah. else. So well, uh, it's a busy day. Yeah, that's good. It's uh, Tuesday-ish, right? Tuesday-ish, yeah. Yes, Tuesday-ish. Spot on. Spot of tea from over there. Hmm? Spot of tea. Spot of tea, yeah. That's your spot tea. of tea right there. Yes. It's tea time. <laughs> tea time, Tassie. So... What do we have, Rob? Well, we got, got a bunch of small amps. What are we doing with so, them? So there's been a lot of popularity uh, amongst... Are you Italian? I, yeah. All of a sudden? Popularity. Pop <laughs> Sound like Mario. <laughs> my son, my seven-year-old, plays Mario all the time. He goes around and goes, Mario Pizzeria. <laughs> Where he got that, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, so the thing right now are these... Everybody's downsizing. You know, you don't have to... There's a lot of reasons why you don't have to carry the big colossal rig anymore. I think it's bull. I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, the everybody's gone to in ears, so there's less stage, stage volume, volume, so you can get smaller amps. So now that you don't need the big amp for the volume, everybody's like, "Oh, okay, my aching back. I want to, I want to go to a smaller platform." And the yeah. smaller platforms are really sounding good these days. So. Yeah. We've just brought a little offering out of some of the more popular, more talked about, smaller rigs. These heads kind of, kind of all fit into that lunchbox size um, that, that people are talking about. And we've got, uh, what, are, what are you doing there? I'm just looking at something. I was thinking about the, uh, the importance of some certain things and okay. I, just, I was just thinking about right. it so okay. anyway so we so, have the prs mt15 mark tremonti mark tremonti yeah. mt15 mm -hmm. 15 watts variable down to seven if you cut it down the switches in the back yeah the mesa which is switchable between 10 and 25 one of mm -hmm. the verify mm -hmm. and it uh so switchable 10 to 25 it's the mini rec 25 yeah and then we've got the Victory Sheriff 22. There's a 44 watt version. This is the 22. This is the 22. So everything we have here is under 25. Or it's 25 watts or less. And where these two are switchable, basically down to a half power mode, this this goes about it a little bit different way. There's a, if you want to go to the low output, you've got to use a different speaker out. Um, and then it goes from about this running full power. This is about 28 watts. When you go to the low out, it's about Point three watts. Jesus, man. How do you fit it all in there? I don't know. How do you do it? That's about all I could fit. So I hope you can. <laughs> I got the, the rest. rest of it. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> so the so the price so the price points on these just to be clear, mm -hmm. is your what six fifty here? Yeah, if we're just looking at the amps and not yeah. the cabinets. Yeah, yeah. no cabinets. Yeah. We're, we got them paired. We got them paired with the kind of the optimal cabinet. But this is 650, this yeah. is 1250, that's uh, 1110, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. 1109. Mm -hmm. um, so 1109, 1110, whatever yeah, it takes. No. Depends on where you're at. <laughs> okay, so the differences in these amps and the things you're going to get out of each amp are considerably different. You know, you've, to me, if I had to put them in a nutshell, you're talking great vintage 60s and 70s blues rock amazing tone for that in the victory sheriff yeah that is that tone then you've got the mt15 which has amazing cleans and extremely high gain yeah, yeah. and you know so you've got kind of a i don't want to say a one trick pony but out yeah. of the box the sheriff is a little bit of a one trick pony mm -hmm. you, you know mm -hmm. it doesn't switch and everything you yeah. know this you can have a foot switch and switch it between the two yeah, channels, right, right? Right. The Victory, you cannot. There's no switching, but it has its tone. That's where yeah. it, that's where it shines. Yeah. The MT15, two channels, clean and lead, extremely clean, extremely heavy, and everywhere in between. And then you've got the amazingly versatile Mini Rec. Kind of does it all. Which is two separate channels, 
and each channel has two voicings. Okay, so you can you can plug a pedal and have channel switching in the yeah. in the Mesa. Yeah. So those are the broad differences. We'll and we should say tone. that all three of these amps have effects loops, and all three take pedals well. So when we say out of the box, one may be a one trick pony. Yeah. It's anything goes as soon as you start plugging in pedals and yeah. overdrives and fuzzes and delays and choruses Ex and <laughs> Continue. compressors <laughs> and raw pedals. And uh, but it, it, exactly. I, I, I'm glad you made that clear. Like I said, out of the box, yeah. you just plug your guitar into it, speaker in, you know, speaker in uh, output into the cabinet. That's what you get. But you, this is one of those amps that people will say is a very pedal friendly amp because it can get clean, especially on the, the input one. Yes. And you can get those brilliant highs and you can do whatever you want this, with your pedals. This, this will get clean, but it, it, because it's a low wattage amp and it's EL84. Headroom's low. It's, it's a much lower headroom, so it will break up a lot sooner than, let's say, the Tremonti MT-15 that's a 606-based amp that's going to give you more headroom yeah. and more cleaner tones before it starts breaking up. Good, good, good. I like it. So... <laughs> I like it a He's lot. He's impressed. I am, man. I just don't know where he keeps it, man. It's like there's a garage right door. It's a gra <laughs> there's a garage door in the back of his head. The truck delivers it. So just just so we can go through it, stage or input one, a little bit lower gain, can't really get crank the gain and get a real high gain setting out of it. That's what you go into yeah. input two for. Yep. Now you can still get a, a reasonably clean sound out of the input two. But it's not going to be clean, clean, sparkly clean. Yes. Okay? Right. Here, you're going to get sparkly clean if you want it. That but cleans up really. I was surprised at how yeah. clean that gets. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. So one cool thing about these amps is they're, they're not, they're not going to break the bank. I know 1250 is a lot. But for 1250, you've got to understand you're getting a minimum of four amps out of this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the one thing you have to understand about the little mini Mesa is that, you know, some people might think, oh, it's cute. It's, the, you know, it's, they don't make that to the same specs that, that they make the, the full size dual rack or whatever. But it's, it's the, it is the same components. It's the same platform. It's the same amount of tubes. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's just the same thing just shrunk down. Yeah. And it's, it's the real deal. We have it in a 112 cabinet right now. Mm -hmm. You could power both of those cabinets oh, with this thing, yeah. and it would scream. I mean, it, it would be, it's, 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 it's sufficient yes. on the volume. So American made, four tones, built in California, amazing diversity. Yeah. You're paying 1250 for that. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. You pay 1109 or 10, what is it, 1109? 1109. 1109 for that hand built in England, okay? Hand built in England. Amazing tone, amazing for what, it, what it's used for. You, there, there are a million people out there that love that tone, mm -hmm. and it's built in England. That's, that's done the, right. That's, that's the British, they call the British sound, kind yeah. of marshally. It's, it's, it's somewhat of a, a, a Marshall too. Plexi kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have the Paul Reed Smith. So <clears throat> half the price, almost, of the, the mini rack. This is made overseas, but it is designed and done exactly like Doug Sewell designed. We were there while they were developing this amp. We got to hear the prototype while we were at the factory, and it, it kills. I mean, yeah. it absolutely kills. And for 650 bucks, this is probably one of the best bang for the buck tube amps I've ever played on or dealt with or had in my possession. You know, a lot of people, I've seen people make the mistake of thinking that wattage equals volume. Yeah. And think that how can 15 watts, how can 15 watts mm. really cut the mustard? That thing will rip your face off. <laughs> <laughs> it will clean Dude, rip your face off. There was a there was a guy that was gigging and he was embarrassed of his amp. Okay, yeah. I went to see him and he, yeah. he was embarrassed of, but his tone was awesome. Yeah. Okay, he hid his amp. Mm -hmm. It was one of those little orange mini terrors mini terror or whatever things. it's called. Tiny it's terror. one watt yeah. tiny terror, and he had it plugged into a 412 Mesa cabinet <laughs> that he bought from us. 
<laughs> and he, but it, so I'm like, man, why don't you put that up there? It's amazing that you can get that tone. Yeah. So one watt can power a big cabinet. This thing will power a big cabinet. Yeah. Trust me. You don't have to go through a 112 if that's if yeah. that's upsetting to you. Yeah. So let's quit talking. It's still about looking cool. It is. And it does look cool. It does cool. look cool. Watch this, though. This is what's really cool. Focus in, Larry, on the amp. Watch this. It not so only goes to nice 11 cool. on gain. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Metal. Metal. There you go. It just went from, from heaven to heck. <laughs> you can say hell. <laughs> Ronnie James Dio did. Uh, so let's play a little bit. All right. So let's go through the three clean tones. All right. Because I think that's what we're kind of set up on. So right now we're on the MT-15, am I correct? Turn, turn it right. up there. Sounds like it. Yep. You can hear, I mean, it's just, it's not breaking up. You can tell that there's plenty of headroom there. Yeah. And that, just so, just so you know, so what we have, what we've done here is we've turned them all, all the knobs on the clean setting, like bass, treble, mid, they're all straight up, 12 o'clock. So you can hear a real true representation between the amps. Not that many people would compare or design, you know, base their purchases. Like they're not out searching for these three and saying, which one do I want? This will give you a representation of what these, amp, what these different amps do. Yeah. So this is on the clean setting on channel one uh, of the Mesa Mini Rec. I'm gonna let Rob continue to play. So it's not a little, quite as dynamic in the in the. In yeah. The, yeah. It's clearer. I yep. would say it's a little clearer. Yeah. So let's go to the sheriff before okay. we. Uh, sheriff. Shoot the sheriff. Sheriff. The sheriff is near. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said the sheriff is near. Lots of mids. A lot of low mids. A lot of low mids. But that's that sound, that's that like foxy, that foxy type tone, you know? So listen though, you do this, play now. It is. So, like I said, there's really no reason to like compare these other than to put them all in one video so you can get all your resources and your knowledge from yeah. this one video. But notice that when I just turned it up to like 2.30 or 3 on the treble, it became brilliant just like these do. So what we need to do is go back to the MT-15 clean and then that treble boost. knob has a pullout boost that we need to listen to. up a little. Maybe play some bar chords a little bit. Let's go to, so let's do kind of the same thing with the Mesa okay. and go into the pushed thing, the pushed voicing. I got control over here. You do. That's Let's crazy. push. Let's go back to clean just so you can hear the difference. I'll switch between the two. Okay. So to be fair, let's let's boost the bump the volume knob on ch on uh, input one. Okay. 
So what's cool about that is, yeah, you don't have a foot pedal to switch that, but it's totally variable. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can go from zero gain almost to, well, not zero, because it still breaks up a little, mm -hmm. but you go, but you can dial it in. Yeah. You know, and some venues feel better with a lot of gain, some feel better mm -hmm. with less. So mm -hmm. um, you want to get into the heavy stuff? Let's do it. All right, so let's go back just so we can work our way across kind of one, two, three. Let's go to the... Uh... <laughs> That's, that's hot. <laughs> Go for it again. So this, like... Hmm. Yeah, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> I got control over you now. <laughs> so we're going through an A-B switch and we're kind of like uh, in charge of each other here, which we both need. <laughs> Had to give the awkward camera. I like, I like camera. that little... That little he doesn't work. No. Sounds that sounds big. Face smashing metal. Face smashing. Or and that's, that's at, uh, let's see, where's the gain? So the gain's only at one o'clock. Let me. Weeds too far. <laughs> so let's switch over to the Mesa. I want you to play again. So I'm going to switch over to channel two. And we are in the let's start off in the start off in the modern setting. So there's okay. vintage and modern. <laughs> back up on It's not quite, you can't get quite as much gain as you can out of the MT, no. but that, it's not, that's not necessarily what it's built for. So let's go to the Sheriff. I'm going to switch to input two. Go ahead and play. I do like that. I do like it. So turn me. Thank you. Good. 
good harmonics in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, so let's uh, should go back and play some screaming leads through all of them. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Try it now. Reminds me of an Eric Johnson show I went to <laughs> once. <laughs> See if you got sound there, mister. So yeah. I, I, now I'm tinkering with the knobs a bit. So just to get it. Uh, it's fiddling about. I'm tinkering about. <laughs> so uh, I just boosted the lows a little bit, the mids a little bit, and then I ended up adding a little bit of treble just to give it some sparkle. So uh, let's go to the uh, Mesa. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fuzz. The attack. I liked the attack. A little, little, little more, more aggressive. Yeah, a little more aggressive. One. Same okay. like. All right, let's play through this bugger over here. And I say bugger, bugger because of that's where it's from. Total buggery. Total bugger. You good? <laughs> Kind yeah. of vibe, but, but and that's but, but it's, hairy it's good. nonetheless. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> he said Harry. But you know that's the that's the beauty of it. You know, I'm gonna say I'm gonna turn that off for a minute because we got got it here. I'll just do this. That's fine. We'll just do this guy there. Hey. That way it's still See? on and we can See? use it later. We that know works. We know what we're doing. <laughs> so the idea is not to say that these are all in competition with each other. But if you're looking for a vintagey tone, I think obviously you're going to probably go with that dude. Yeah, if you want that that Britishy, low wattage, early breakup, mid rangey, kind of growly sound, that's your amp. If you want lots of headroom, you want a nice sparkling clean, but a really nasty high end, high gain amp, then you might want to consider the MT15. And it handles to. low end like no Ooh. other. I mean, for a 15 watt amp, for it to handle the low end like that yeah. on that high gain stuff, yeah. that's ridiculous. It's great. And if it's you want something killer. that kind of gives you the best of both worlds, yep. the mini rack. It's, and it, it'll handle high gain. It will, uh, it'll do everything in between. You know, the, the bluesy and the rock. Can all be done with that thing. The bluesy and the, the rock. The bluesy and the rock, man. You like my movement? You can go to heck. Wow, man. You can go to heck. <laughs> you so, go straight to heck. Just so we're clear, 112, 112, 212. Okay? So, but we're only miking one speaker, okay? So we're hearing maybe a little bit different than what you are in the, in the microphone, but identical mics identical preamps that we're recording through and when we started off they were all identically eq'd the same okay so very cool I'll stuff man. i'm going to be really interested to read the comments that people leave and kind of which one that which one suits them the best out yes. of the three options we should make it official yeah leave a comment and tell us what you think and don't just say what you think say why you know what i mean yeah right i right. want i don't want you yeah. to just say oh the sheriff is a piece of or you know what I mean? It <laughs> well, sounds I mean, terrible. Well, if that's what you want to say. Well, I guess, yeah. But I mean, you know, but I mean, like, don't think that that's supposed to be a high gain death metal amplifier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be real. You know? The sheriff suits me best. Yes. 
and he will handcuff your ass and, and whatever. While I drink my spot of tea. Yes. I'm sure all the guys at Victory are loving us for pigeonholing their country. But uh, anyway. Oh, to get letters. So very diverse price range. I mean, this is obviously half the money, a little, le a little more than Which half again, the money of these. Blow, I mean, wow. Yeah. For, for the price that, that that amp is and yeah. what you get with that, holy smokes. Silly, man. What a, uh, uh, nothing so, else can touch that. Yeah. And, you know, you're, you're, and it gets tested at PRS. You know, if you think you're buying a, 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 an amp from overseas, it gets tested by the people right around the corner from Doug Sewell's yeah. room. Yeah. And we, we've been there. We've, we've seen watched it. We've them. witnessed it's, it. I mean, we can attest to it. Yeah. So amazing amps. Great amps, you can you can gig with these things all day long. Yeah. So, Rob, which one would you gig with? Man, all day long. All day long. All day long. Like if I if I was buying a gigging amp that I needed versatility, all day I'd long. do the all day long, <laughs> all day strong. But I'd do the Mesa. Would you? And the only reason is because if I if you're not talking about adding pedals, you haven't we haven't introduced that. I'm just saying if I had to take an amp right now and go play a gig for lunch. Yeah that would be it because I can do anything with it. I might see it's tough for me because I got like one day I could be feeling this vibe. I know that's what and I'm another saying. Another day I could be like, I want to get my Tremonti on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, which yeah. I can't do, but it's a nice thought. anyway. <laughs> we but try. I, I think for me, just if I was going to go play a gig right now, I think it'd be the sheriff. I knew it would be. Yeah. And if you have pedals, you can, do a lot with yeah, that. Yeah, sure. You can do a yeah. ton. I mean, you can yeah. get into that input to add some pedals, and you're going to get a metal tone out of it. But I, I'm a Mesa owner, so I'm. It's I'm. Don't don't think that I'm dissing the Mesa yeah. either. It's a great amp. Yeah. I, I own a Mesa. I just. And that's the thing is like yeah, you can go out and you can buy a five or six hundred dollar amp. You know that's, but it's one amp. It's one yeah. tone. You know what I mean? Where this. You're buying four tones or more, yeah. hand wired in America, twelve hundred fifty bucks. Where you'd have to buy four amps at six hundred dollars. Yeah, talking twenty five hundred dollars. You, you know, know that I mean? another really cool thing that we had not is another video in and of itself. But just to just to make a mention of it is that we just got in basically this from Victory, but in a just a pedal format oh yeah that's right so it's it's it is it but it's not a pedal because it's the amp it's a preamp it is yeah. this amp just minus the power section yeah so you let's say you've got a great rig you don't necessarily need speakers and power amps and stuff you just want that victory sheriff sound you can buy the pedal version There's the sheriff the duchess through, oh all gosh those, you know i mean we got them yeah we got three of them yeah um so there you have it. I mean, in a nutshell. Oh, I'm in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, sorry, Help. I'll probably get sued for that, for being stupid. Uh, not from stealing it from a movie, but for being stupid. But anyway, so there you have it. The three amps, the Mark Tremonti PRS MT-15, the Mesa Mini Rec 25, and the Victory Sheriff 22. If you have any questions, as always, please give us a call, send us an email, leave a message here uh, on the video. Um, we're very easily, uh, um, we, we, you can communicate with us very easily. We're easily reached. By we are easily reached, yes. like right now. The phone is ringing You sign now. off, I'm going to go okay. take this call. All right. Yeah, absolutely. We want to help you out. So if we've, hopefully we've, we've made your decision, your buying decision a little easier. It's possible we've complicated it more. I don't know. But if you have any questions, you need any advice, you want to chat with us, we'd love to do it. Just give us a call, pick up the phone, send us an email, chat with us on the website. Um, we'd love to talk to you. So we're so happy you joined us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Leave us a comment. Tell us which amp would best suit you. And come check out our other amazing videos. I'm Rob, that was Brett. We're coming at you from more music in Evansville, Indiana, and of course, moreguitars.com. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs>